The conflict in Sudan, which erupted on April 15 between the army and the rapid support forces, continues to rage. The UN says over 9,000 people have been killed, while more than 6 million people have been displaced, either inside Sudan or in neighboring countries. With so many in need of aid, the UN humanitarian coordinator in the country says the situation is growing bleaker by the day and has called on the international community to understand the scale of the problem there. The world is beset by crises, many that garner much more attention than the crisis in Sudan for a multitude of factors, but not because of the scale of the crisis or the depth of misery. In this regard, the Sudan crisis has few equals. Speaking to journalists in New York, however, the humanitarian coordinator expressed optimism that the statement of commitments adopted in Jeddah by the warring parties early in the week marked a moment of truth for Sudan. We owe it to the people of Sudan to ensure that the promises made by the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces to protect civilians and provide unimpeded humanitarian access are kept. Mkweta Salami also pleaded with the parties of the conflict to abide by their obligations under international human rights and humanitarian law. This is not optional. These attacks should cease and those responsible held accountable. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs says at least 85,800 people have fled Sudan over the past one month alone, seeking safety and protection in neighboring countries. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.